And now for our con job of the day, we've got a great example of Republicans pretending to speak for the people while actually doing the bidding of the rich. You're going to love this one. Last year, former uh, Minnesota Senator Norm Coleman helped found a right-wing think tank, American Action Network. They claim to be a grassroots group whose primary goal is to put our center-right ideas into action by engaging the hearts and minds of the American people and spurring them into active participation in our democracy. Grassroots, democratic participation, the American people, that all sounds pretty good, right? Well, the American people voicing their opinions, of course, would be terrific. You know how many people contributed to American Action Network? Eleven. Not 11,000, not 1,100, just 11. You know how much they gave, though? $2.75 million. Well, you look at that. It turns out those 11 folks were really rich. Who could have seen that coming? The group got two checks for a million dollars, and the smallest donation it received was for $25,000. Now, what do you think? Is that grassroots support for Republican ideas? Or is that rich people just buying our elections? And what was the result of all that money? Well, they bought ads like these to attack Democrats who actually cared about the middle class. How can you tell the taxpayers in Congressman Steve Kagan's district? We're not so tough to spot. Kagan stripped us with the wasteful stimulus. Congressman Martin Heinrich. He's wallpapering Washington with our tax money. Meet Nancy Pelosi's star pupil, Washington insider Chad Causey. Causey graduated from the Obama Pelosi team that gave us the wasteful stimulus. You get a sense from all that? The theme is whatever you do, more tax cuts and not spending on the middle class. No, we don't want that. Gee, I wonder why rich people gave these people uh, money. And by the way, who spent all that money to make sure Republicans win? Well, it turns out we have no idea. Because of new lows, loss, the American Action Network isn't required to disclose its donors at all which is pretty convenient. The group's president claims more donors contributed after the startup, but of course he wouldn't say how many or how much they gave. Oh, sure, we had plenty of variety. The third Koch brother came in and gave us money. And then another Koch sister gave, came in and gave us money. Isn't that grassroots? For the record, we don't know if this is the one Republican group the Koch brothers actually did not give money to. Now. These guys claiming to be a grassroots group supported by average Americans while getting only 11 checks from incredibly wealthy donors is our con job of the day.